Simone, is this the kind of guy that you want? A common street fighter? Hey, the guy owed me money. The other guy started it, Whitney. He had a knife. I don't care, Simone. Look, the chief of police is a friend of my family. Do not make me call him. You want to call him? Call him. I wish I had called Chief Bennett. That Chad is nothing but a real life hood. It's you. Who did you think it was, sweetie? I, I don't know. Oh, let me get that. Whitney, you're jumpy about something. Is it the tennis match you have this afternoon? No, no, I feel great about that. It's, uh, it's about last night. Oh, about your father going out to the shed again. Well, it's like I told you last night, honey. He just needs to be alone sometimes. We all do. But why there? I mean, in the middle of the night? I've never even seen what's in that shed. Neither have I. You're kidding. Well, it's always been your father's private sanctuary. I like to give him his space. But you must be dying to know why he sneaks out there when he thinks we're all asleep. Oh, Whitney. You make it sound so ominous. Lots of people use an outbuilding for a, a study or an office. That's all it is. But sometimes he doesn't go out there for months at a time. And other times he's out there almost every single night. And we never talk about it. We just act like it doesn't happen. Something must happen to make him need to go out there. Whatever it is, you don't need to worry about it. What do you know? Two of the most beautiful girls in harmony in one room. Okay, would I be so lucky? Mm -hmm. mm. Hey, is this glass? Oh, I missed a piece. I'll get it. Sweetheart, are you okay? I just broke a glass. You didn't cut yourself, did you? Because you have a big match this afternoon. I'm fine. Oh, that's a relief, because one little cut on your hand could put you out of commission for a while. And that's very crucial for this time of your training. I know. Olympic tryouts are coming up. Yeah. You can't miss one practice or even one match. She won't, TC. Whitney's as committed to being the next Serena Williams as you are to having her be. Mm. So where's Mother Beautiful Dar this morning? Simone left early for school. I guess she didn't want to risk running into me. Oh, sweetheart, that's not in at all. Simone was just a little upset last night, and I'm sure after a good night's sleep, she's feeling better. Did you girls close out early last night? Oh, yeah, we always do, Daddy. Good. Sorry, uh, who are you looking for? Nobody, Daddy. Sweetheart, you don't seem to be yourself today. Is everything okay at school? Everything's great. It's just that, um... You know what? Never mind. It's, it's okay. Sweetheart, I, I know what's bothering you, okay? It's what Simone said last night about not wanting to be like you because you obey your mom and dad. It's not that, Daddy. You sure? Because I can't blame you if you feel that way. But I gotta admit something, sweetheart. You're growing up. You're no longer daddy's little girl anymore. And I wouldn't mind if you have those kids at school, boys, wanted to ask you out because they think you're the finest girl to walk down the halls. Sometimes I do wonder what it would be like. Sweetheart, you'll find out. But just not yet. Tennis has to be your number one priority for the next couple of years. I know, the Olympics. And it's gonna be worth it. When you come home with a gold medal, you're gonna show the world what Whitney Russell is made of. You're gonna go places, you're gonna do things. <sighs> Tennis is gonna open up a whole new world for you, baby. And you can't throw it all away on a few, <sighs> on a few growing pains. Is that what you call this? Yes, it's exactly what I call this. But I'm so proud of you, baby. The way you can take your feelings, just put them aside for the big picture. I just wish your baby sister could do the same. Because she met that loser. Oh, Chad's not a loser. He's just a little rough around the edges, that's all. And Simone's impressionable right now. She's definitely not as focused as you are. And I'm glad you know better. Well, don't worry, Dad. If I do fall for any guy, it'll never be one like that.
You know, Simone's testing her boundaries right now. She's at a stage in her life where she refuses to believe that you or your mom could possibly know how she feels. I don't remember that stage. Because you never went through it. And knock on wood, you never will. <laughs> Whitney, you have a wisdom that most kids learn the hard way. You think so? Sweetheart, you have a rare, unique talent. And a dream. And a chance to see it through. Whitney will cause a murder if she continues to pursue her dream of becoming a champion tennis player. That's ridiculous. Whitney wouldn't hurt a fly, much less kill somebody. I didn't say Whitney was gonna commit the murder. Then who? Her daddy. But what about you, daddy? I mean, is everything okay with you? Of course. Why would you ask that? I've just been getting the feeling lately that something might be bothering me. Bothering me? What could be bothering me? I have a beautiful wife, two beautiful kids. I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm glad. Me too. Do you mind if I make a really quick call? Sure, sweetheart. Go ahead. Okay. I'm not kidding, Teresa. My mom would kill Simone and me if she ever found out we were at that pool hall last night with Chad. Oh, oh and don't even mention my dad. He would go absolutely crazy if he heard. Chad, that's good. That's good. I didn't know you worked here. It's not a real gig, just a temporary mail ticket till I can kiss this crummy town goodbye. So what happened to your eye? <laughs> the guy in the local pool hall didn't like my face. I would have thought you got an earful of it by now. How would I hear about that? Yeah, I don't think that there's any way that he could ever. <sighs> oh no! Teresa, I gotta go. I would have sworn your daughter Whitney would have come running straight to you with all the gory details. Now, how would Whitney know about a popped eye at a pool hall? Because I just told her what happened. I bumped into her a couple of minutes ago before I came over with your coffee. I figured she rat me out right quick. Well, she didn't. I didn't think it was anybody's business. Okay, well, sweetheart, can you see yourself into school from here? I think I'm gonna stop by the hospital before I check in. No problem. All right, hey, don't worry about what we talked about earlier today. Everything's gonna be fine, all right? And I'll see you later on at the tennis match. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Can't believe you did that. Oh, he would have blown a gasket if he found out we had someone at that pool hall last night. See, I'm not a total bastard, you know. I didn't say that you were. I just... Thank you. Now, I'm surprised you didn't rat your sister out. I mean, you're supposed to be the good daughter, right? I mean, you could have scored a lot of points telling your folks your sister followed Big Bad Chad to a raunchy pool parlor. I didn't tell them because it would upset them too much. Even though I hate lying and I don't keep secrets. Well, are you sure about that? Maybe I know you better than you think. But you don't have a clue who I am, okay? And you never will. Hey, Whitney. Good luck on your tennis game today. Not that you'll need it. Everybody knows you're the best around. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> hey, um, what's this song? I've never heard it before. Oh, I'm not sure. You'll have to ask my new DJ. Maybe I do know you better than you think.